We don't really have to tell you here in Vegas, but that real estate market is booming. Get this nearly nine out of every 10 homes sold in September 2021 were on the market for less than a month. Lee Brown is the 2021 VP of advocacy for the National Association of Realtors and joins us with insights for the current market and what's to come. Good morning to you. Well, good morning. It's a pleasure to be with y'all today. You as well, because we want to dive really into this because I mentioned it a little bit, but what buying and selling trends are realtors really seeing nationally and then here in our area? Well, the biggest thing a buyer and seller have to understand is that real estate looks like a national market, but it's hyper local. So every zip code's got its own personality and data trends. Every neighborhood behaves differently. And frankly, every house does as well because you have different buyers and different sellers. And that's the reason you call a realtor. You want that local business owner realtor in your zip code to tell you what's happening. And when we look at the trends, as you know, Real estate has been the booming sector in the whole economy since the COVID era started, and frankly, it was doing well prior to that. But with this explosion in the market, we have seen so many people trying to get their piece of the American dream through home ownership, and that's where a realtor can really help you figure out how to make some success happen. Do you see this continuing through 2022? What trends are directing us into the next year? Well, full disclosure, I don't have a crystal ball. However, our economic geniuses at the National Association of Realtors do forecast the levels of demand continuing into 2022. And we're looking at probably 6 million existing home sales, which would be similar to what we've seen in 2021. Things can always change, but one thing that's driving buyers into the market is that with the rise in numbers on the inflation side, Real estate is that most natural hedge against inflation and with interest rates staying low, even though we anticipate a little rise going into 2022, it's the best way for people to give themselves some protection in the market and that's helping people continue to move forward. And with that American dream of owning a home, what are a few things that buyers should really prioritize then in order to have that best chance? Well, I know it's uncomfortable to talk about money, but if you're going to buy a piece of real estate, you've got to get your financial house in order. If you're paying cash, that means talking to your financial advisor or to your local bank about creating this letter we call a proof of funds letter, which the agent can then give to the seller and say, look, these folks actually have the dollars to purchase the property. Now, many buyers, of course, don't have that available liquid cash, so they want to get a mortgage. We highly recommend that instead of going online, you talk to a local mortgage lender who's also a small business in the community and have them prepare a pre-approval letter. That lender should ideally talk to you about the possibilities, whether it's VA financing or if you're a veteran, perhaps it's first time buyer financing or down payment assistance. There's special loans for doctors. There's conventional loans, jumbo loans. It's all over the place. And a great lender is going to walk a buyer through the options that are out there so they can create this letter that the realtor gives to the seller, just like with the cash buyer to say this person has already gone through all the steps and they are qualified to purchase the house. Once you know your budget and you're comfortable with what you can spend, it's much easier to go pull the trigger on a property and get that house that you'd like to have. Now, in a market like we're seeing here, and particularly in Las Vegas, we're still seeing bidding wars and multiple offers. So the realtor's job is also to say, don't fall too much in love yet, because we might have to kiss a couple frogs before we find a prince. And you're going to be prepared to lose a couple times before you win. But the end goal has to stay in mind, and that's to get your piece of the American dream, where you'll stay put for some several years and have a whole different outlook on your future financial stability. Well, Lee, we appreciate your time. We ran out of time, but we do have plenty more questions. So where can we go to get more information about the questions that we may have? Well, NAR.Realtor is always a great resource for trends and forecast and data and also to know what questions to ask the Realtor you hire and how to find somebody great and frankly, just lots of great information so you can make home buying or business buying a wonderful decision. Well, Lee, we appreciate your time coming to us from sunny San Diego at the 2021 Realtors Conference and Expo. Thank you for joining us. Thanks, Micah. All right, if you're looking for more information on the latest in real estate, just visit the website that's right there on your screen. We'll also have all of these details available on our website as well.